Hey guys, Dan here from Visual Spy Impulse. And in today's video, we're going to be going through the process of how we use webcam masks and image masks within Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. One of our most frequently asked questions is, how do I use various webcam shapes that aren't just squares and rectangles? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's surprisingly super easy. This first portion of the video, we are going to be using Photoshop to create our own webcam masks. That's totally fine if you don't have Photoshop, you can just skip ahead to where we set it up in OBS and Streamlabs, as we will be providing you guys with a bunch of free image masks that you can download in the VBI store or in the description down below. Firstly, we need to open up Photoshop and create a new canvas. And now we want to go ahead and change the width of this canvas to 1920 and the height to 1080 and just go ahead and click create. There's only really two things that you need to know about image masks. The color white means the image is going to be shown and the color black means the image is going to be hidden. It's pretty simple. Now that we have the black background, we're going to go ahead and create the image mask itself. You want to select the shape tool and select the rectangle tool and go ahead and right click the shape tool, which will bring out this drop down menu and you want to select the rectangle tool, which is the first option here. Once we have that selected, we just click in the middle of the canvas and then we go ahead and type the width of the canvas, 1920 and the height, which is 1080. And for these options here, we just want to revert them back to zero and go ahead and click OK. Now what we need to do is just align this to the canvas, head over to the move tool and on your keyboard, press Ctrl and A, which should select the whole area of the canvas. Then towards the top, you want to click the horizontal align and the vertical alignment and that should just center the shape on the canvas. Now you want to go ahead and deselect that by clicking the selection tool and just clicking anywhere on the canvas to get rid of the dotted line. Now heading back to the move tool, as you can see, we have anchor points in the corners here. And these will allow you just to kind of round the corners off as to wherever you want them. I'm going to go for somewhere around here just for the purpose of this. Right now, this is a solid base for a rounded corner webcam. So now you can go ahead and just save the file. You can save it by pressing Ctrl and S on your keyboard, or you can go to File, Export, Save for Web, and it should bring up this menu here. And all we have to do is click Save. We're going to go ahead and save this file as a rounded corner mask. And just go ahead and click Save. Perfect. So now all we have to do is go and implement it into our streaming software. The first streaming software that we're going to be implementing our webcam mask to is going to be Streamlabs OBS. So now that we have Streamlabs opened up, we want to go ahead and add our webcam source. We do that by heading over to the sources tab and pressing the plus icon here and then selecting video capture device. And we're going to call this source webcam. We now want to select our device from the drop down menu. There we go. Now we can see ourselves. Now we go ahead and click done. Now we want to go ahead and add the image mask. So we right click the webcam go to filters and then we click the plus icon here to add a filter. It should automatically select image mask and blend. So we just go ahead and click done. Now for the path, we need to locate the file that we saved earlier. So we just go ahead and click that and open that. And as you can see, it has rounded our webcam corners off nicely. We go ahead and click done. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and scale our camera down. So pressing control on our keyboards, we can just drag the corner to the size we want. And even if we wanted to, we could just right click and select transform and center on screen. And now we have it perfectly in the middle of the screen. So I'm now gonna show you quickly how to do it again in OBS Studio. It's very similar to Streamlabs OBS, where we head to the sources tab and add a new source, video capture device. Let's just go ahead and add the webcam. I'm gonna call this webcam tutorial. Click okay. And from the drop down menu, we just select the camera and press okay and right click again, filters. And on this one, we actually have two options. We have audio and video filters or just effect filters. We do actually just go ahead and click effect filters on this one. Image mask and blend, okay. And locate the path of the rounded corner mask we saved out earlier and open that up. And there we have it. And we can actually scale this down as well by using control, just like we did in Streamlabs and right clicking it again, heading over to transform and just center to screen. Now that we've covered the basics, let's start working on some more advanced designs, some of which you may find in a package on the store or have created yourself. I'll also show you some tips and tricks to help you set them up in OBS. I've gone ahead and downloaded the Kraken Steam package from the marketplace. 
and I'm going to show you how we work with more complex webcam masks and the process of setting them all up. As well as that, I'm going to be showing you how to create a webcam scene that you can compile all your webcam elements into and then use that scene throughout your other scenes. So first things first, we create a new scene in Streamlabs and we call that scene the webcam scene. And we go ahead and add the webcam to that scene. Video capture device again, add source. And we call this one webcam. And once that's implemented into the scene, we add a new filter, image mask. Then we locate the file of the webcam frame mask. As you can see, the webcam mask is actually filled in black. So we do need to go ahead and change the type here from alpha mask to alpha mask channel, alpha channel. And that should just invert it all for you here. Now that our webcam mask is added to our webcam, we have to add the webcam frame. Heading over to image, add a new source. We're going to call this one webcam frame. Add source and just locate the file of the webcam frame. Now that that's implemented into the scene, we do need to go ahead and stretch that to the full size of the canvas. So right click that, transform and fit to screen. And that should perfectly align everything we've got going on here. Now I have all these elements in the single scene. We're going to move on and show you how to use the webcam scene as sources within other scenes. So if we just select another scene, we go to the plus icon in sources. Just down here, we select scene and just select the webcam scene that we made just a moment ago. And you can now scale this down without having to worry about all the other elements in the scene and move it around freely as to wherever you want it. And there you have it. Similar to Streamlabs in OBS Studio, we've created a scene here called webcam scene. Add the webcam as a source, add that to the scene. And with that added, we go ahead and add the filter as the image mask. And like before, we change the type from alpha mask color channel to alpha mask alpha channel. Now the webcam mask is all implemented, we go ahead and add the webcam frame. So adding a new image source, find the webcam frame, right click that, transform, fit to screen, and there you should have it. It's all perfectly fit right in. And do the same thing here where we can actually add this webcam scene to other scenes. And we do that pretty much the same way as we do in Streamlabs by adding a new scene as a source, selecting that scene, and we can scale it down and move it around to wherever we want to, just like we can in Streamlabs. I'm very briefly going to run through how to set up your webcam frame, as well as changing the colors all within Streamlabs. This is going to be the same throughout OBS Studio. There may be some slight variations here and there, but for the most part, all the steps are the same. You need to go ahead and add a new source, image, and make sure this is a new source by ticking the box here. We're going to name this source webcam frame. So we go ahead and add that source. All we have to do now is locate the relevant file that matches up with the image mask file name. And for this one, I've chosen rounded. And we're gonna go ahead and click done. As you can see, we've got the red border going on here, but I'm actually gonna show you how we change that color. So adding a filter to the webcam frame, we wanna make sure that we go ahead and add a color correction layer on this one. The only option that you really need to worry about here is just the hue shift option. It does come with a slider that all you have to do is just move it up and down the scale and it will change color accordingly. As you can see, we have a blue one here, but we're going to actually tone it down and go all the way to the green side and try and get a very nice VBI color. There we go. Sorted. I'm happy with that one. You can also play around with these options here, but it's not really needed. And once you're happy with your color, you just click done and there you have it. You've now changed your webcam frame from red to whatever color you like. Perfect. So up until now, you've been listening to me talk. Now I want you to get some hands-on action within your OBS. We've created a free pack of image masks that you can go ahead and find on our store or in the video description down below. And within that package, we provide you guys with a bunch of free image masks, all of various different shapes, which you can just simply go ahead and download and use for yourself. If you found this video useful in any way, we'd love to know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.